I grabbed a couple potatoes, sliced them up, made some wedges. I guess you call it potato wedges. There you go. Probably put a little bit of seasoning salt on there and uh, call it good. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna call it a tongue teaser because what it is is it's just uh, chicken strips that I'm gonna bread. I'm too lazy. I was gonna use some. Uh, uh, what, what the hell was I gonna use? This shit. I like to grind this stuff up here. Chicken stuffing. Thanks. I throw it in the food processor. Grind it up real fine and it lasts for forever. And I usually mix that in with flour, but I'm too lazy. Okay, so it's just gonna be flour. I'm gonna throw this stuff in here. Slap your mama and cayenne. Try to make this sucker real hot. Gotta get spicy. Uh, then I'll, I'll do the egg wash, do the breading, chicken, obviously, the strips. Okay, and then uh, in the pan, here, in the pan, which is still warm because I did the potato wedges. All right, what's next? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do this because it's called the uh, tongue teaser. So I'm gonna do the cream cheese, probably half of this, this thing with the uh, some corn. And then uh, quite a few jalapenos. This way you get that jalapeno cream cheese effect. It's uh, kind of kind of different. It's called the tongue teaser. Okay, I'll see you on the flip side. I'll start. The only tip I have when doing this: keep a dry hand and the wet hand. That's the only tip I got. Helps out. That's why you don't get so much. Build up in your fingertips, unless that's what you want. That's the tester when that thing starts cooking like it's supposed to, you know. It's time. Oh, yeah, we're we'll get, probably getting close. We'll get the rest in there. And then I'm going to work on the. Uh, Different version of the cream of corn. That's a half a bar of cream cheese. Yeah, and I'm almost wondering if I should use the whole thing. <laughs> I'm saying the whole thing, dude. For sure. No. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> see how that whips up. Trust me. See how that whips yeah, up. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Canned corn, you know, you can use frozen corn, whatever, do your own thing. I actually got fresh corn in the fridge, but I don't like shucking it. This one's easier. I'm gonna add the uh, jalapenos in here in a minute. The pickled ones, I like pickled jalapenos. This one. That's one more thing I gotta wash. Very dirty. They're, you know, I got probably two or three different types of tongues. Maybe <laughs> using a fork. It's not gonna bring tears to your eyes, but. Pepper, I don't know. Tilted that way. Mm. <laughs> right 
pretty good. Tastes good, but it doesn't have the kick I wanted. I was hoping for more kick. I need more cayenne. You can throw some tapatio on, a little bit of tapatio on the top. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. It needs more kick, so tapatio it is. We're hitting it with some tap to you. All right, that's good to know. What do you think? Okay, I just made this cold sauce. It's sour cream with ranch. Mm. And uh, that's supposed to complement the breading because in the breading we put the the uh, slap your mama, the cayenne, and then at the end after it's done cooking, put a little bit of the uh, tapatio on there. So hopefully that's got some kick. And then we got the, another kick here with the corn and the jalapeno with the uh, cream cheese and a little bit of lettuce and potato wedges. That's kind of way, the way. It's going to work tonight. Probes. Uh, okay, all I have to worry about is chopping up some jalapeno. Oh, I did that the other night, dude. Just one jalapeno, and later on, after I ate, I hadn't showered yet, and I didn't wash my hands, and I put my finger in my eyeball, and it literally burnt worse than I can remember ever burning in my eyeball. Mm -hmm. And so then I went downstairs to take a shower, and when I went into the water, I don't know if the water activated the oh, oils a little bit, but I was rubbing my other eye at the same time. And basically, I ended up burning both my eyes, and then I was my eyes were burning. I was grabbing my scrotum sack, <laughs> and then my fucking sack was on fire. It transferred. <laughs> it was, I uh, let's see, we grew them too, or she grew them. The worst experience I had with my nuts was uh, I went to the gas station, and the pump came out of the car. <laughs> it fell out and it aimed and it shot. I had to turn it off. It off. Fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, fuck. And then I, I was going to college, so I go to class. I figure, fuck it, it, it's fine, you know. <laughs> but then within a half hour, everyone smelt the gas on me. They're going, what the hell? And my nuts are just burning. <laughs> so I said, oh, I gotta go. You had the same pants on that you got sprayed with. Right. I figured, oh, I'll back rain or go away. Oh, that shit stinky. Well, I had to race home. Like, I lasted, I don't know, half an hour. I oh, I bet. Your whole classmates are probably like, what in the fuck is that smell? <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> this is Mr. Rogers. Take three. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch the, tr the train. What's that called in Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood or something when you see the train I wasn't a big fan of that show, Pointy. Oh, my God. That was the best part when the train went around. That dates you pretty well. Okay. Hey, Pointy, is that brownie what I think it is? Yeah, you want it? <laughs> Take a bite. Should be pretty good, actually. 